Hi there. About nine months ago, in August of 2017, I started a video on a modification I did to the smaller storage boxes uh, so that I could have some lighting inside them at night. And uh, instead of hardwiring something in, I, I think I found a solution that works really well. And it has to do with a set of Mr. Beams under the shelf LED motion sensing light sensing lights. They take four AA batteries and I have to say that I'm kind of glad I didn't finish the video because in November 2017 my wife and I have been on the road full time ever since then and it's let's see it's March 6th now so we've got a little bit of time on these things and they've really proved their 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 existence on here. Uh, I haven't had to change any batteries. I had one faulty light the day that I installed them and I sent it back and I got a replacement. But other than that, haven't had to replace any of the lights, haven't had to replace any of the batteries. And at night when I needed to get at some, some of the tools that I have in my storage boxes, there was light there when I needed it. And I didn't have to be feeling around for any switches or anything like that. And at the end of this, I'm actually going to take a few night, night shots tonight of, of me doing that very same thing. So if you can stick around through the whole video and see how I install it and see what they're all about, you'll get to hopefully see some of the uh, lights and actions at the end. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully this will be something maybe you'll want to do to your own trailer. I love these storage boxes in, the, in my Turtleback trailer. They're really just right for the amount of equipment, pieces and parts that I need to carry on a, on a trip. And it's pretty easy to organize the dimensions inside, make it uh, a pleasure to kind of put things in. And I love the doors and everything. One of the things I thought I would improve though is when you're trying to get into this box or the other box on the other side at night, it's a little difficult to find things. Now you can turn this light on, that's true, but sometimes, you know, you just want to get in here and grab something real quick and then go. Um, if you don't have the power turned on to the trailer, this isn't going to work. So I thought of I would try to use something from a company that I've had some experience with before in at home. And uh, it was a motion sensor LED light system and this is put out by Mr. Beams and I'll put the information in the description below uh, but they have a whole line of, of motion sensing uh, LED lighting uh, like I said the stuff we had at home I probably had five or six of their outdoor type um, motion uh, sensing lights and they work great I mean we were it was just like you could almost get away with not having external lights on your house and uh, you know in a few D batteries and you can light up pretty much your whole yard. Anyway I'm going to show you a close-up of this in a second but these units are made specifically for under the shelf cabinets at home. Uh, they come with a little mount and watch I can't get it off during the camera that you can screw into your to the underneath of your shelf if you want or they give you an adhesive pad too uh, which is nice and they operate by four AA batteries and, the, and trust me when I tell you the batteries will last forever because that LED lighting is just so efficient um, so I have one in here now and it won't work because there's too much light out but it does sense how much light ambient light is present so they're not going to work every time you stick your hand in, but when you need it, it'll be there. Um, for home use, they're great too. Uh, they actually have a filter that comes with the kit that you can put over. It's a little uh, has a little adhesive pad that you can put over uh, the light sensor here, so that it shows it sort of dark anyway. So even if it's like daylight and it's but it's dark in your cabinet, it'll still it'll still light up. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do my installation today of the Mr. Beams uh, lights here. Uh, this is the bright light. They call it the uh, LED Slim Lights. 
and I'll put a description below on how to get a hold of these things on Amazon. Um, all right, so you, it comes with a base plate, the main assembly that'll hold the batteries and the LED light, and it comes with several adhesive pads and uh, uh, some blockouts if you wanted to use these under a shelf in a cabinet, say in the kitchen. And the idea of this is, is it blocks out quite a bit of light uh, so that it, the light would still go on even during the daylight if you open the cabinet door. Uh, but we're not going to use those because we need all the help we can get at night. All right. So the reason there's two of everything, there's two in, in a, per box in here, which I think is a is a pretty good deal. All right. So uh, I've already cleaned the back of this with a little alcohol swab that I had, and I'm going to remove the yellow part and just square this up here like this. And then I'm not going to remove the other, the other as of yet because I'm going to put a little of my secret weapon, as I said in, earlier in the video, a little dab of this. It's sort of like silicon cement. This is made by Liquid Nails. I only bought this brand because it was cheaper. Uh, is it better than any other? I don't. I'm not really here to review that. But I just put a little bit of a dab there. You know, and it's a little bit higher than the pad, so I know that it's going to make some contact. I don't want a lot of contact, but I just want it to be able to just give it a little bit of extra tack uh, in case this pad ever fails. All right, then you have two ways that you can install this, obviously, this way or this way. You want to make sure that you're, wherever you put it, you can slide in or slide out this battery pack in here like this. Okay, so the way I usually do it is I have it sliding in from the back, all right, so that I can pull it out this way because of this lip here. You know, if I put it up underneath behind this lip, and then all of a sudden I got to have it way back in order to get it in. So I want the receptacle uh, portion of this to be in the back, uh, if you wanted to look at it like this, so like this, okay, from the, from the back side. So it's going to go under this way. So I know that this one I've already got over here is about a third of the way. That's about right for there. I'm going to pull the back off. I'm going to go up under here about an inch back from the front and just push it up on the top. Press and hold it for about 30 seconds. And then I'm actually going to let this sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and let it set up before I go ahead and throw the batteries in the the uh, unit itself and put it up there. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And then put your batteries in and away you go. Anyway, I thought you'd be able to check out that. Check out more information in the description below. Check out our Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe to our blog at www.theturtleandthetiger.com. Until next time, we'll see you later.